61A lecture number 10, announcements. The completely optional hog strategy contest ends today. Entries are due by 11.59 p.m. Homework four is due on Thursday. It was posted at the end of last week. I recommend getting started now. If you want to get started with the company of others, come to the homework party tonight in 247 Quarry Hall. Project two will be released today. It's called Maps. It's due next Thursday. You can get an early submission bonus point for submitting by next Wednesday. I recommend getting started on that soon as well. That project only depends on the lecture content up through and including today. So you can get started on it whenever you want. We still have signups available for CSM adjunct sections. That's computer science mentors. These small group tutoring and mentoring sections are extremely helpful in mastering the core material in this course, and they're really designed for exam prep. So if uh, you just took an exam and you would like to spend your study time wisely in the future, I recommend joining one of these adjunct sections and they can give you some tips and help you understand the more difficult concepts in the course. Space is filling fast and once it's full, I don't think we'll be able to add more sections. Midterm one should be returned to you. If you did not get midterm one back, but you turned it in, please contact the staff through Piazza immediately. Regrade requests are due on Sunday. And if you find that anything was misgraded on your exam, I do recommend filing a regrade request. Let me say a few more words about midterm one. It was quite a challenging exam. This exam is there not just to test whether you know the material, but whether you can understand functions that use multiple ideas at once, whether you can compose together the ideas you've learned in the course in new ways, and whether you've mastered every nuance of the material so far. I know that's a lot to ask, some of you met the challenge perfectly, but the vast majority of you had difficulty and for good reason, it was really hard. If you found the exam very challenging, if you didn't get a bunch of points on the really hard questions, how should you feel? I think you should still feel great. If you're learning a lot in this course, then you're doing it right. Now, I know you might want a higher score than you got, and that's a reasonable thing to want. The good news is that most of the points in this course lie ahead. Students often look to this first exam as a way to determine whether they're cut out for computer science, whether they have the natural ability to succeed. As far as I can tell, it's a lousy indicator of that. Learning a subject that requires a lot of practice takes a lot of time. You've only been in this course for a few weeks, and so this one exam is not going to tell you whether or not you'll be good at computer science years from now. It also won't determine your grade in this course, whether you'll be able to declare the computer science major. Of course, it does influence your grade, but not nearly as much as midterm two or the final exam. The general advice that I give to all students is that to do well in this course, you really do need to do well on homeworks and projects. You should be getting all the points on the homeworks. You should be getting almost all the points on the projects. It's okay if you miss a couple of really hard questions on a project, as long as you're completing most of it. You don't need to ace the exam in order to do well in the course. That's not how it's designed. We don't expect people to get 40 out of 40. But the most important part of these exams is to focus on the first couple of pages, environment diagrams, what would Python print, and also understanding how to solve some of the simpler uh, composing functions questions. Focus on those first, practice a lot, get better at them. Of course, you're welcome to try the more challenging questions, uh, but they're really not the focus of the exam or the bulk of the points. In the email you received with your exam score, you should also have read that there is a midterm recovery policy. 
where it's possible to earn back some of the points you lost if you lost more than 20 out of 40. The reason this policy exists is to ensure that any student can pass the course regardless of what score they got on their first midterm as long as they continue to apply themselves. So if that applies to you, great. If you got more than 20 out of 40, well, good for you. And so this recovery policy doesn't apply to you. Uh, you might not have gotten the score you wanted, but remember that a score of 22 is only 18 points away from a score of 40. And if you look on the policies page at grading, the gap between, say, a B plus and an A minus is more than those 18 points. So 40 points just isn't that much in the overall scoring of this course. Uh, don't panic too much about this exam. And uh, if you did well, congratulations. If you didn't do as well as you hoped, focus on your personal growth. And uh, there's a very good chance that things will get better for you as long as you apply your time carefully and you make sure you spend enough time on this course.